Hi everyone, so let's talk about the letter tiles possibility. So you have n tiles, so you have to return a number of non-empty subsequence of letter. So uh, this, this question is pretty straightforward and using the backdrop. So I'm going to just tell you about the solution. So you have A, B, right? And then you can generate what? A, B for the starting because you don't, you, you cannot have a duplicate starting, which is which is another A, right? This is not allowed. So A, A and B are the only way you can start. So you can say A, A, you can have A, B, right? And this is only A, B, A, right? So this will be A, A, B. And another one, this one will be A, B, A, right? And this one is B, A, A. So how many possibilities you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So you have total number of eight. So how do you actually do it? So since the character is you reusing, right? You need to know that if you use a current char for the for your current 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 iteration, for the current iteration you need to uh, decrement your count. But when you want to traverse another possibility of the uh substring you need to add the current stream back because the other path of the uh, traversal you need a current chart so uh this is going to be pretty much it right so there are two possible uh two possible way to do this uh, one is using the counting array the other one is using hash set both are using backtrack solution so i'm going to just demo you know, uh, how you actually need to do for the the different type of solution. So first thing is going to be counting array. So new in twenty six. So there, there's a reason why they're using twenty six is is because the tile string only contain the uppercase, right? So for char C I also to char array. I'm going to just add I'm going to just add the counting array the char into the container array and then I can just create a hover function using it using a DFS. So this is not this is gonna be public public ink right so it's gonna be what in container array right so I'm traverse the container array the length of the container array right so if the current current index at i is actually equal to zero we don't want to use it, right? So only greater than zero, we want to use it. So since this is a return type of int, I will have to generate a result. And this is going to be return result, right? Now I need to know, uh, what should I do? So for the current index i, uh, for the counting array is actually greater than zero, I will just have to increment by one. This is this is only I uh this is only meant I can possibly generate one char to the substring, right? So for example A A I will append A into my sorry, I will have a one possibility for the result, right? So I'll increment. Now I need to decrement my counting array at this index and I need to just keep adding on my rest of the counting array. So my single A is uh, one of the solutions. So I will traverse another uh, DFS. So I will get a 2A, right? So when I get 2A, I will just what? Uh, because I will increment, right? So I will get increment, I will get dec decrement another A. So now I have only remain 1B, right? So 1B will just implement. So which is what? AAB, right? So I have A, I have A, B, A, A, and A, B, right? So since I am using this for one path, and it's already the end of the traversal, I need to add the character back, right? So when I add a character back, right? And then I will just uh, go on another possibility, which is A and A, B, right? So starting another, starting another possibility. So this is going to be another traversal so so probably this is a solution yes and let me submit all right
So let's talk about time and space. So for time, um, I would say what? Uh, this is actually depending on the extreme, to be honest. So for example, A, A, B, right? So for for single, for the single continuum rate, for a single continuum rate, A, A, sorry, uh, 0 to 25, sorry. Uh, let me change this, 0 to 25. For every single index, you have two possibilities. You either pick or not pick, right? So uh, I would say what? I would say the worst case, if the string has all of the character, the worst case is going to be 2 to 25. And you can either pick or not pick, and then this is going to be the worst case. And the space is going to be 26, so it should be constant. And this is a continuous resolution. So let me do the uh, hash, set sol hash set solution. The hash set solution is more readable. This is because um, you you can only what you can only uh, add a unique string into the hash set. So I'm going to create hash sets, right? And I need to capture the boolean boolean array, which is L. This is because I want to keep track of my current. Uh, current index for the tiles, uh, the tiles screen. So just making sure I visit. If I'm not visit, I'm going to just visit. Right. So I still DFS. I need to pass in a set. I need to pass in a visit. Right. I need I need to pass in the given string. I also need to pass in the the string builder because I need to generate. I need to append the char to the string builder. Right. And at the end, I need to return set the size minus one. I will I will tell you what why I need to have a minus one over there. So this is going to be probably void DFS asset option that boolean array string file tells or string builder sp. So no matter what, right? I can just say sp. Sorry, set up at sp dot string. So in the beginning, I will add an empty string into the set. So this is why I need to decrement by one. So okay. So now I I already gave a list, right? So I will just traverse the length of the uh tail the tails, right? Then I will have to check if my current index is not visited. It's not visited. I will have to visit, I will have to visit. So by default it's visit, right? Uh sorry, by default it's not visit, right? So if I'm not visit, I will visit. And I will visit at i equal to uh, equal to true. And then I will say, okay, and now I need to append to the string builder the tail star char at i. And then, and then I will just what traversing for rest of the uh chars in the tail string. And at the end, I will have to but I will have to say okay. I need to let other uh let other uh string to add another uh add another what big char add right. So this will be what uh sp the length minus one right. So again, this is pretty similar. If I use it right, I'm going to what. I'm going to just um pen to the stream builder and at the end after the one traversal I will have to give it back my chart to another path, right? So uh so you have to say to set the visit equal to false. So you can traverse in for the B, right? B A and B A, right? So you want to give it back the chart to another possible possibility of the uh, string right, so I spell it wrong, which is line 13 right here. So, this type of type of solution is called backtracking. And again, if you see the time and space more uh, complex, 
this is because the hash rate has more what uh, function and also we we will have more what more space if a string is if a string is a length of like what 10k something like this no okay sorry should be seven so if a string is seven then it's like what you need to generate seven for space uh this is a lot of space to be honest like i mean the hash set function so again the time time and space are pretty similar time should be the same so you either pick or not pick so it's two to the length of the uh, tail so it should be two to seven right it's because the length is actually seven so time time is going to be two to seven for worst case and then the space is actually determine your uh, solution this is all of what all of all of n and what and then this is all of n right then of the uh, uh tail string and this is pretty much a solution so there are two different types one is char array sorry counting array and the other one is asset so pick the uh pick the one you actually understand and i will see you next time bye